Welcome back and hello to everyone new. We made it to Jayapur, which is super exciting after our flight was delayed, but our Airbnb is absolutely horrible. It's like the Airbnb from hell. And it's definitely hot enough here in Jaipur, like over 100 degrees to be hell. But this place is like super dirty. It doesn't look like anything, the photos, nothing, just trash everywhere. It's it's disgusting for me, so you can't even imagine like for Pooja. So just, just like, I mean, look at this place. Look at this place. So the couch, we have the couch here. Which, it's okay, I mean, not horrible, a little birdie. We got somebody's used bag of chips, some old newspaper, dirty fork. We didn't use any of that stuff. Come over to the kitchen. I mean, I mean used bottles. It's like, it's like somebody was like staying here right before we came and they just like didn't clean up anything. <laughs> What's wrong with this stuff over here? Look! You don't like these stains? Ah. A little cleaner would fix that. So, we got some Jira, Jira seeds over here, some used bottles. I don't know even what's in this stove, used cups. Luckily, they left their big bag of trash <laughs> over here. And here's the dishes that we were supposed to cook in, but we definitely won't cook in that. We're lucky we had dinner right before we came, even though our flight was delayed until like, we arrived here at like 11, 11, 15. Found a little place and ate, luckily, because we were thinking about cooking here, but it would have been absolutely disgusting. I mean, let's look in some of these doors here. That one's okay, a bunch of junk. If you're gonna plant potatoes soon, there you go. Those are good. A little bit of uh, seasoning, I guess. And then another dirty plastic bag. What else we got in here? Gross. Dishes. Yeah, these, uh, those are probably the cleanest dishes. And then nothing. And then no dishwashing soaps. No soaps. What are we going on over here? This is just the kitchen. What do you think, Pooja? You like this place? So gross, I'm disgusted. <laughs> we were even thinking about like staying here long term because in the photos it looked absolutely amazing. Like the Airbnb and then there's a bunch of fake reviews now that we know. And the pictures are probably like three years old because the plant that they had was alive in the picture, dead now. Another great part of this room, of this Airbnb, is this is a refrigerator box full of trash. All the way to the brim full of trash, but no refrigerator, no nothing. They just collect the trash there, I don't know. The bathroom is pungent with smell. Nice little toilet. <laughs> Nice brown toilet. You got yourself a toilet paper roll with some hair on it. We haven't used any of this stuff. And like I said, there's like some other products over here. Like they used somebody, somebody like literally used it before. And then, I mean the view's okay. If there was any positive about this, the balcony is huge and the view is pretty nice of the city. It is a little bit loud, but that's to be expected here. It's Jaipur, it's a huge city, so. Can't really complain about that. We got some nice wires. And then like the worst part of it, the worst part of it is we got here late, super tired, ready to go to bed. And then the bed just kind of looks like this. I mean, really dirty. You got some nice dirty prints over here. <laughs> the color just not not great. And then finally, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video. These are all dirty, dirty, <laughs> dirty but prints. <laughs> so, literally, probably the worst Airbnb I've ever stayed in.
which is really disappointing. We were excited because in the photos, like I said, it looked nice, it looked clean. If it was at least clean, we can handle, you know, bathroom being outside and then not telling us and it being a little loud and whatnot. That wouldn't be a problem, but having to sleep on a dirty bed, it looks, and then trash everywhere. And it just looks like someone was literally here like two hours before. And then they were like told them they had to get out because we were staying for a couple days, so. Overall disappointing. So far we've been, we spent the whole day trying to find a nice apartment to stay in, somewhere to stay. And it's been really, really rough. They say like, you have minimum of six months and we don't plan on being here for six months. So limited options, maybe stay in the Airbnb for long term or maybe stay for a couple weeks and then just go and find somewhere else that we can stay that's better than this. But we're, we're disappointed. I think Pooja's defeated. She's over there. <laughs> what do you, what do you think? Tell us about your review. It's gonna be five stars. It's gonna be minus 10 out of five stars. I'm gonna demolish all those fake. Gonna have to demolish all those fake reviews. Yes. Gonna put all my pictures, original pictures, on Airbnb for them. I'll do that job for them. They didn't do it quite nice. <laughs> You're gonna put like the, the dirty, the dirty trash, the dirty, the big old kitchen box full of trash. I mean, the bathroom stinks horrible. We came back and then the room kind of just smelled like... Sewage. Sewage. Right. So it's just like horrible, horrible. But props to the, the people, owners of this. They took really nice photos, made it look really good. And they bamboozled us. But... You can suck it. <laughs> wow. Be nice. Uh, Be nice? So and it's such a disgusting bed. Yeah. Nepal has better B&Bs than You know, when you're sleeping in bed and you know it's gross and then you start like feeling really itchy and just like, you feel like all these bugs and critters are like, running all over you. Yeah, <laughs> that was definitely <laughs> the feeling of last night, so. Uh, Ew. Like I said, I thought it was disgusting, so Pooja must have been dying. <laughs> Must have been dying. As soon as we walked into this, I mean, even walking up, the outside of the building, really nice. Lobby, really nice. And then you go up and you get to our hallway, and it's just like, it's not great. I mean, we can, the last little bit, I'll show you the hallway. Plus, the person that was supposed to give us our key wasn't even here. And we had to wait till like 11.45 to finally get our key. So, I mean... It was very simple. Mm. Not so great. We had to ring the doorbell to get our key like six, seven times. Finally came out like 15 minutes later and he had no idea he was even supposed to give us a key or what we were doing there, so. Horrible, <laughs> horrible, horrible, horrible. Not a good start to our uh, Jaipur India experience, but it can only go up from here, so. That's it. That's all we got. Pooja, final words. Um, if you're coming to India and you're getting an Airbnb, um, don't go for the reviews. Right? Contact the host. Just pay extra dollars and get yourself a good BNB. Don't go for cheap and get something disgusting like this. This one's not even that cheap. This was like mid range, like $20 per night. So it wasn't the cheapest one, wasn't the most expensive one, but. They bamboozled us. What to do? Oh, just keep, keep looking. Hopefully we can find something. It's a big city. We'll find something. That's it. That's all we got. Here's Jaipur.